throughout the pandemic, we reported consistently on the way it impacted uh, mm -hmm. things across the economy. The restaurant industry was hit particularly hard during the pandemic. But now that the CDC has eased mask guidelines, a local owner says it may actually help the industry rebound. Lauren Edwards joining us live from the newsroom after hearing from him about what his business looks like now. Lauren? Jazz Jonas, I you know spoke with the restaurant owner Jeff Lobdell this afternoon, and he says the last two years at times were very scary for them, but they pushed through, and now he's just glad to see customers back. How's everybody doing today? All right. Appreciate you being here on Monday, first Monday open, right? It was a roller coaster the last few years, but I think right now everything feels really good. Restaurant owner Jeff Lobdell grateful to see the kitchen and dining area at Real Food Cafe full once again. How's everybody doing today? Oh, good. Good. How are you? Good to see you. Yeah. yeah. And grateful the CDC eased their mask guidelines last week, giving patrons and employees the option to wear one or not. Perhaps they have somebody with compromised immune system at home that they're looking out for and choose not to, you know, uh, be maskless, but uh, we respect their wishes to do whatever they want to do. He says it may help restaurants as a whole uh, rebound. When the pandemic hit back feet, in March 2020, so, yeah. it hit the industry hard, yeah. including his 12 restaurants with the Restaurant Partners Management LLC. <laughs> Pre-pandemic, they had 600 employees overall, but by April 2021, it dropped down to 50 due to the temporary lockdown rules. Uh, it was a real hard time for everybody. You know, we had two consecutive stints where we were shut down for 75 days at a time. Our dining rooms were uh, the second time around, we opted to keep a lot of the restaurants open for uh, takeout and, and delivery. But he says that wasn't an efficient operating model. The PPP loans helped, but they still went through hard times. And now the struggles with inflation. We've had, had to take small price increases to keep up with the uh, inflation, the rising prices, the, the rising uh, cost of wages. Uh, supply chain has been an issue. Certain uh, to-go packaging items aren't available. But customers, he says, have been understanding. His group acquired Real Foods two locations after the roughest times of the pandemic passed. He's just glad to see all locations open and fully operational. Right now, sales are great. Our staffing's back up. Uh, we have good, uh, good management teams with bench strength, and uh, we're very optimistic about the future. Now, Lavda says that new employee benefits like 401k plans, telehealth coverage, uh, company discounts and cell phone reimbursement has helped to attract new applicants. So, again, we're just hoping for the best for the restaurant industry because it has been incredibly hard for them. Reporting live in the newsroom, Lauren Edwards, Fox 17 News. All right, Lauren.